All right, it's a part off eBay. Let's see what it is and test it. We're testing a WPIR sensor hooked up as shown. The lens on the sensor has 30 segments and as shown in the table, if you turn it on its side, it's got a 50 foot range. All right, it's a WPIR infrared motion sensor. Looks like it's definitely still new, but uh, sometimes these things sit around for a long time, so it's going to require testing. And this one's pretty simple because uh, this is a version 3, but I still don't think that it has any daylight sensing. So no, it doesn't. It has a PIR sensitivity adjust and it has a time delay adjust. So this is an easy one and it just hooks to the power pack black to black, red to red, and blue to blue and it's never been connected. It's got the little niblets on the end here. Okay, we are ready to have a look-see at our little sensor. Uh, I'm going to turn the time adjust all the way down, which will make this thing work really fast. It has no daylight sensing in it, despite the fact that this is a plain flat auto on control. We have our plus 24 attached to it coming from the power pack, our negative 24 coming to it from the power pack, and our control line and this is going to activate the power pack by connecting this positive to this blue. None of these wires are connected to ground. No. None of them are connected to neutral and most certainly none of them are connected to line voltage. So give me a sec to turn this thing down to its shortest timeout and we'll turn it on. Now I am going to gently, and that is gently with an exclamation point, feel where the time adjustment is. It was turned all the way up. I'm going to turn it all the way down very carefully and feeling when it stops. These only turn one half to two thirds. If you take them any further than that, you will have broken the adjustment. Boom. You broke the thing. Okay. Now let's hot it up. I typically run these. Our power packs initializing. There it goes. Now it's turned on the light. If I cover this, it should go out in short order. Now let me explain that this is just a lovely, lovely sensor. That you can use this. Oh, by the way, our power pack is indicating that it's turned on because the light is solid and blinking off every five seconds. This is a lovely sensor. It's built to be placed above a door looking down. Well, let's get back to this thing. Let me let it time out. It should time out within 30 seconds or so. Okay, so yeah, about a 30 second timeout saw me through a crack in the box. Is a very sensitive sensor. I have it turned up all the way. Let's talk about ins installing it. Another nice feature of this sensor is the visual status indicator that indicates that it has seen motion. This is actually required for an occupancy sensing device in the state of California. So lest you forget, don't be installing things that don't have this visual status indicator business or you are basically violating the law here in California. My preference on installing any infrared sensor is to leave the sensitivity turned all the way up. And this particular sensor is designed to be placed like this above a doorway. Obstensively, that's what they want. So it's going to look down and back. Down and back some. Uh, how far it's going to look back is dependent upon its mounting height. And then it's going to look out in the room and it's going to have pretty good coverage, probably to 30, 30, 25 to 35 feet. But the beauty part of this is that this portion that sees people coming in the door, if I take it and orient it on a wall, uh, we'll put it like this. This has got a field of view that is quite extensive. Uh, 
30, 40, 50 or more feet and it can see a person rocking back and forth. Uh, if you don't believe me I just put one of these in at my neighbors and it's got a ferocious field of view when you are looking out of the lens this away. So I highly recommend this sensor. The timeout ranges from about 30 seconds to 30 minutes. In the state of California, if you're doing this anywhere, residential or non-residential, as a required shutoff control, uh, you have to adjust the timeout to where it is 20 minutes or less. Uh, if you can see me using this in the extreme garage install, lighting install video, and the microwave motion sensor system install videos. So this is working just hunky-dory. Also, don't forget, if you're getting unwanted false triggering, you can mask portions of this lens off with tape so that the offending false triggering or the areas you don't want covered don't trigger it. Works like a champ.